All right, I'm taking matters into my own hands. How do I rid myself of this guilt? Another long ammo bolt action rifle. This could work. The Springfield Crag, or the Craig, if you live in Minnesota, is long ammo, but it deals 124 damage to the chest out to about 40 meters, meaning unique for a long ammo weapon, it can't down a hunter missing a small health bar. Does that really affect its performance that much? No, not really. That is, unless you need to kill a hellhound in a pinch. Oh shit. Oh fuck. No! I played that wrong every step of the way. The Krag also has less total ammo than other long ammo rifles, sitting at a measly 12 bullets total compared to 15 on the Labelle or the Mosin. This ammo limitation effectively kills this rifle, rendering it completely useless because you just need more ammo. Oh, the Sparks pistol makes this a non-issue? Well, okay then. You might be getting the sense that this rifle isn't as weak as it sounds on paper, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. The Springfield Crag costs $376, making it just slightly more expensive than the Bertier. However, that listed price is a bit deceptive. To be truly effective, the Crag needs more ammo because unless you're Nick Cannon, 12 just isn't going to cut it, so you should almost certainly bring a long ammo secondary, making the true cost of the Crag either $531 with the Sparks pistol or $790 with the uppercut. At $531, that pits the Krag near the Mosin once you add whatever secondary pistol to that one. Is exorbitant price as a counterweight for general effectiveness an interesting trade-off? Well, it's at least a start. What was she doing? The Krag has no variance because, I mean, it just came out, but it does have custom ammo options. Two, in fact, with FMJ 460 or Incendiary 420. Should you take them? Well, I think then US President Grover Cleveland said it best when he remarked, no. Speaking of campaigns, abstractly, I'm supposed to pause here and tell you to consider subscribing because if this video nets a thousand new subs, Crytek might consider adding me as a partner. And as the people's partner, I will leverage these videos to fight for the working man and make Hunt a better place for all. That's right, less Mosin snipers, better trade windows, and a commitment to cooler skins with less hoods and skulls. But it all starts with your subscription. Join now. I am legally required to disclose Crytek never said any of that. Anyway, why you shouldn't take custom ammo with the Krag. Long ammo's penetration is fine, the muzzle velocity and iron sight on the Krag is well suited for headshots, and incendiary bullets on a long ammo weapon is like my girlfriend apologizing when something isn't her fault. It's really not necessary, but it's cute when you try. Maybe you can use FMJ to extend the lethal range of the Krag a bit, but then you need to bring custom ammo on your secondary, and I mean, like I said, what's the point? The Krag can benefit from one trait, Iron Sharpshooter, which makes this fast-firing bolt-action rifle fire just a little bit faster. The Krag also has the benefit that it doesn't require Bullet Grubber to top off, nor do you have to clear the chamber or play with an in-block clip. Simply open the lid of the magazine, drop in some bullets, and keep firing. Of course, just because you can drop in bullets doesn't mean it won't take a while. The Krag's reload from empty is about 11 seconds, so you'll probably want to continuously top off during a fight instead of waiting for one lengthy reload. And just like its reloading mechanism, the clean sight of the Krag is all about popping lids. The center post is thin and little gets in the way of the sight picture. If you aren't in the market for a stubby sight like the Labelle or the Bertier, the Krag might be the rifle for you especially if you want something that shoots fast. At 43 rounds per minute, the Krag probably compares best to the Vetterly in fire rate, but with a better sight and base muzzle velocity. Of course, you could also just take the Vetterly with high velocity ammo and have a weapon comparable in performance for half the cost. Basically, for a premium, you're paying for better base damage drop-off and penetration compared to the Vetterly or the Centennial. Which brings us to the Krag's most significant downsides, its price and its ammo. With the Krag, much like an iPhone, you are paying extra for the simplicity. 
This weapon is fast, streamlined, and only probably assembled using cheap child labor. Okay, maybe not that last one. So what should you bring with the Krag? Because of the ammo situation, the Sparks pistol is just the easiest to recommend. It's cheap compared to the uppercut, does massive damage, and boosts the spare ammo pool to 20. Also, it increases how much ammo you loot from boxes, so the Sparks pistol, again, undercuts any balance considerations ammo might attempt to levy on the Krag. Hey Crytek, maybe that's worth looking at. The Krag is best in close and medium range, given its lower damage and high fire rate, but it's still a long ammo rifle. Shoot through things, plan to double tap targets, and generally don't worry too much about bullet velocity. Something I like about the Krag is that it challenges our preconceived notions about what long ammo has to be. Long ammo doesn't have to be a minimum of 125 damage. Long ammo doesn't have to be cumbersome and slow. But unfortunately, all the attempts to bring the Krag in line are simply undone with the one pairing with the Sparks pistol. I enjoy the Krag. It's a lot of fun to use, and maybe it's the most guilt-free of the long ammo bolt-action rifles, but I still feel bad using long ammo. I mean, I'm still gonna, but as Grover Cleveland said, I have tried so hard to do the right. I don't think the Krag is overpowered, nor do I think long ammo is broken, but I am hopeful the Krag will usher in the first changes we see to long ammo to reel it in a bit compared to medium and compact. Maybe the Krag is weaker than the others in its class, but I have never criticized a gun for being underpowered. Ahem. The difference here is that the Krag has poor ammo economy alone, poor damage, poor cost efficiency, and a lengthy reload despite being long ammo. But Crytek, don't be afraid to let it be a little bad. Trust me, this channel is proof that bad can be interesting. But, uh, partner letter in the mail though, right? Oh.